Hello, everyone. It's Andrew with The Market Mindset. I wanted to do uh, this podcast here to touch on one of the key ingredients that people tend to forget about uh, when we're doing this transition. Uh, and even as people are realizing all the mining that's needing and all the metals that are needed, um, if we focus just strictly on Tesla, because it's such a well-known company, and we look at the Tesla Model 3, some people are coming to terms with all the metals that are required in order to make a battery, but they're not paying attention to one critical aspect of a non-metal. Uh, and that actually uh, is a bit of an issue. And we want to walk through that process of what reason why phosphate is so key and critical and take kind of the, uh, the worry of understanding chemistry or any of that nature so that people feel comfortable with why we need it, where it fits in and how we're going to get it. And I couldn't think of anyone better than John, John Pasolasqua, who is the CEO and director over at First Phosphate, uh, as he is the person that I know in North America that has an absolute key understanding of that process, specifically for getting phosphate from the ground through its chemical process towards making battery grade. You know, I've built businesses in my life. Um, private this is the first real you know public business that I'm involved in um, as CEO and at this level um, and what I've noticed over my career um, whether it's public or whether it's private um, is that you know sometimes the best time to build a business is in the worst worst of times yeah and why because you build it on some really solid footing and it just it gives us such a creativity it gives us such a strength of, as an organization it makes us so lean so you know it's it's a time uh, of testing right we're all tested in this environment so I think some of the greatest companies um, that you will see in this space uh, will emerge out of what is seems to be this you know apparent chaos and lack of direction and everything else so I would suggest to investors is, you know, I'm not talking first phosphate, I'll let everybody else be the judge of that. But when you're investing, look for those companies that are, are able to achieve despite everything else and are not making excuses. A business person, a business leader has to make the best out of all times. And yes, there are things that are outside of our control, um, but it's how we manage those things. Anyone who knows trying to raise money in the past year to have pulled off seven and a half million uh, is proof that the passion, that the metrics have been met, that you've hit all these milestones. We didn't even touch on all the MOUs and all the, the partnerships that you made across the past year. I just want to remind people too, like uh, it's, a, you know, Elon Musk has said the vast majority of the heavy lifting for electrification will be iron-based cells. So it will be these iron uh, phosphate batteries. Uh, and that we can see uh, is, is, is being, you know, kind of exemplified in the fact we see like bid even in China is that they need to bring the costs of these down. Uh, it's it's hard for people to, to think that they're gonna get the top of the line Tesla at 100 grand, uh, is that we have to find a solution where people are drawn into a 30 grand if we can get it down. If you saw what um, uh, what Elon Musk did with the Teslas, 50% uh, of the Teslas are now on lithium iron phosphate battery and that's growing. And as soon as they did that, they were able to cut the cost by $15,000 or so. And they got the Tesla, I believe around 40,000 US. Um, and that's what it needs to be for for mass adoption. And um, everyone's always talking lithium, but you know, to make a battery, there's um, other components. There's there's the the cathode, uh, there's the anode, um, there, there's the polymers to bind it all together. Um, there's the materials, um, you know, that, that go into the actual um, casing of the battery. Um, so it's it's not it's not so simple, you know. Um, right now, there's two predominant technologies out there: nickel, manganese, and cobalt in the cathode. But also the one that's really, um, you know, starting to supersede that is uh, lithium iron phosphate. And that's what we're focused on, lithium iron phosphate. You, you need to have a little bit of everything. You can't just be a star in one category. And so the LFP battery is like that. It's, you know, it's a good general all-American kind of uh, battery. I mean, all these batteries have challenges in the cold. Um, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're working through all of that. The industry is, is improving every day, but, you know, just good general all-around battery, something that works, get the price down quick and dirty and safety, you know, it doesn't catch fire. That's another big one. Um, LFP batteries got it all. Uh, and we're building out this huge infrastructure. But once again, where are you going to get the material that's required for it? As you know, most of the uh, mineral exploitation in, in the world has, has left the Western world. And it's done in, you know, countries outside of, of the West. Um, a lot of those supply chains are, you know, pretty much uh, China centric. They've done a great job in China in centralizing the supply chains around the world. And so we're trying to do a little bit of that ourselves now um, in terms of, you know, U.S., Canada and Europe. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a difficult job, um, A, because, you know, a lot of these resources are already um, spoken for from through different countries. 
And also we're trying to get this going uh, again back at home, which is obviously the best place, right? If you can have uh, strategic minerals at home, then you know you're you're safe. They're behind your borders. They're 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 protected by by your laws and all that. So there's a big push in the Western world to you know bring mining back uh, to our shores. Um, but you know obviously there's there's challenges with that. Um, you think oh well iron is very plentiful, phosphate is very plentiful. They are, but you know in what um, to what degree and in what format? You know when you're dealing with with battery metals, you need very ultimate high purity. Um, so we're you know we're focused at first phosphate on phosphate and we're focused on high purity. Um, you know, we have igneous uh, rock deposits uh, in, in Quebec, um, it's some of the cleanest rock in the world. And what you have to do is you have to um, extract that rock, you have to extract the other elements inside of it, and then turn that into high purity phosphoric acid to make LFP battery, to give you an example. So, um, and already phosphate is, is very depleted uh, around the world and, and everywhere except for pretty much Morocco. Um, no country has more than you know 10, 15, maximum 20 years of phosphate left. So logistics is very important. You know, you need to have um, these deposits close to infrastructure. You know, that's why you know where we're situated in Saguenay-Lac Saint-Jean, Quebec, we have one deposit at uh, 140 kilometers from the port, another at 70, and another at 40. These are um, phosphate horizons that, that we are exploring, um, and some have already gone into PEA, and we've got advanced drilling programs. And when you're serving the technology community, you've got to be really focused on, you know, just in time, um, you know, high purity. You know, you're really catering to a technology client. So that's where the, the disconnect is going to be, and that's where kind of first phosphate comes into play. We want to be a high purity uh, phosphate deposit. 100% geared to making only PPA, purified phosphoric acid, not fertilizers, um, and also to be serving uh, the technology community and answering to all those needs and answering to a need of, you know, local um, for supply chain integrity, for IRA, uh, for, you know, just in time, for, for everything else. We believe that as this industry sophisticates in North America, it might not be now, but, you know, you, you can't build a business for now. you got to build your business for what it's going to be in the future. So, but the gigafactories are planning to be built by 2026, 2027, yes. yeah. you know, and so, you know, where are the critical materials going to be from this? I don't think China's going to be giving them over to us. I don't think they can be found anywhere else. And then if, you, if you're hauling them in from other parts of the world, like you said, carbon footprint, um, you know, everyone's concerned now about, you know, the labor standards around cobalt, uh, uh, the environmental standards around all this stuff. So, you know, what's it going to be? So, you know, I just caution all these jurisdictions and I caution Quebec as well. We have to put the emphasis on critical minerals uh, now.